Gate, Greenbelt Access Television, <laughs> tells the stories of our community. It came together thanks to the help of a lot of neighbors and friends. With Greenbelt Minutes. Look at that! Every week, Gate visits the old Greenbelt Theater, where Phoebe and Kelly show us what's playing. So you will have a chance, we hope, to see every single Oscar film at OGT. And Gate is the home of kids' animation, led by Mr. Geo. Chewie, we're gonna crash! Brace yourself! Ah! Gate, Green Belt Access Television. Fios Channel 19, Comcast Channel 77, and streaming live at greenbeltaccesstv.org. Community Access Television for Green Belt. Welcome back to the Old Greenbelt Theater. We're joined by Kelly, who's going to tell us what to look forward to this week at the theater. So, Kelly, let us know. Well, Phoebe, we have Apollo 11 opening this Friday, March 15th. Um, again, being by NASA, we just love bringing in these movies about space and about NASA history. Um, but this is an incredible new documentary. It was put together for IMAX theaters, and we've got that great 40-foot screen, so um, not quite the IMAX experience, but you know, as close as you can get in a normal theater, I think. Um, and, and this documentary, they worked with the National Archives, they worked with NASA, they got all of the raw video footage, audio, um, the sound files from Mission Control throughout the Apollo 11 mission and they put it together, spliced it together, so there's a nine-day cut of this this film, um, just putting together everything in its timeline, essentially, from the entire Apollo mission. And then they cut it down into an hour and a half documentary that takes you through the entire mission. There's no narration, there are no talking heads, there's no interviews, it's just letting the footage speak for itself. Um, and through this project, with the stuff they were requesting, NASA and the National Archives discovered all of the stuff that they had never known existed or had forgotten had existed before. Phone calls to the astronauts, all kinds of things like yeah. that. Um, it's like an archaeological dig it, for, yeah, it really is. for video. It really is. So we're really excited about this film. It's just a groundbreaking, really different kind of documentary. Um, the great thing is it's also kid friendly. Oh. Um, Common Sense Media says that it's appropriate for kids ages five and up. And so, you know, for this new generation who's who for for a lot of them, Apollo 11 is kind of ancient history. Right. Um, it's the 50th anniversary of the mission, so oh. it's a great way to introduce kids to what happened. And to how we got to the moon. How we got to the moon, yeah. So it's, it's just incredible being near NASA, too. We're hoping to line up some great guest speakers. We're, we're trying to get some speakers from the National Archives as well. So, um, But we do have a guest speaker for our Friday 7.30 p.m. showing. And that is um, Matt Schindel. He was one of our guest speakers when we showed First Man. Oh, and awesome. he's coming back. He's uh, a space historian with the Smithsonian Institution's National Air and Space Museum. He's a great speaker. So come out Friday, 7.30, and you can see the film and then have him answer your questions. Oh about my gosh, that's so exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Great, so okay, anything else? Yes, yeah, so the other thing, this is a very kid-friendly week at OGT. We're showing the Children's Film Festival Seattle. It's a lot of great kid-friendly animation. It's suitable for, for all ages. It's this great little film festival um, that, that the Northwest Film Forum puts together and then, um, you know, we get it from them and, and show it here, so yeah. Well, that was short and sweet. Okay, so that's all we have for this week. Thank you, Kelly, for joining us. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. responsibilities of representing mankind on this trip that's uh, relatively difficult to, to answer uh, it's a job that we collectively said that to, was possible and we could do and, and of course that the nation itself is 
backing us. So we just sincerely hope that we measure up to that. The Apollo program was designed to get two Americans to the lunar surface and back again to Earth safely. The enormity of this event is something that only history will be able to judge. Apollo 11 has very simply been given the mission of carrying men to the moon, landing them there, and bringing them safely back. Disgraced is a play that truly exhibits what the social divides are in our country. Different cultures, different perspectives on religion and politics. It's a very, very, very stark uh, realization of four ethnically and culturally different people um, and a lot of hidden resentments and a lot of hidden biases and a hidden prejudice and racism. How do I feel about Muslims? How do I feel about Jews? How do I feel about how those uh, different religions and different beliefs collide and, and how they work themselves out? And it's going to make people really have some really great philosophical discussions afterwards because that's what good theater is all about, is making us deal with reality and talk about these things head on. Disgrace opens uh, Friday, March 8th and runs through Saturday, March 30th. Uh, every Friday and Saturday night at 8 p.m. We have two Sunday matinee performances at 2 p.m. on the 17th and 24th. You can get more information about the show and how to purchase tickets at www.greenbeltartcenter.org. Greetings, mortals. Hi, my name is God. You may know me from a book I wrote, but what you may not know is I also created a hilarious one-man comedy variety show for you to come, laugh, and find your inner peace. I'm just kidding about the inner peace. That's on you. In this live show, you will see me perform miracles for your amusement and amazement. That's right. Magic, miracles, Metaphysics and fart jokes will lighten your mood and broaden your mind. I'm just kidding about broadening your mind. That's on you. So come, be amazed, laugh, and love thy neighbor. I will create the universe in 60 minutes or your money back. And I know how I have a reputation for being vengeful, but I promise not to smite anybody who clicks on the ticket link below. See you at the show. Hi, I'm God, and I approve this message. See God, the one-man show, March 23rd at 7 p.m. at the Unitarian Universalist Church of Silver Spring. Get tickets at GodTheOneManShow.com. Hi, my name is Robert. I want you to join me on the Hug Walk. We are walking from one end of Greenbelt to the other to unite Greenbelt East, Greenbelt West, and Greenbelt Center. You can participate by walking the entire route or join us at Spring Hill Lake Rec Center, Buddy Attic Park, Roosevelt Center, Greenbrier Rec Center, Windsor Green Rec Center, concluding at Shrum Hill Park. Simply stated, the walk's purpose is to bring Greenbelters together to celebrate our home, Greenbelt. Join us on March 31st, 2019 at Indian Spring Trail Bridge. We're gonna bridge the gap between west and east of Greenbelt. For further details about the Hug Walk, you can contact spreadruach at gmail.com. Spreadruach, R-U-A-K, at gmail.com.
Since 1998, the Greenbelt Association for the Visual Arts, GAVA, and Greenbelt Access Television, GATE, have offered GAVA GATE animation classes for youth 10 and above. Hello, I'm Greg Gelati, Commander of the Greenbelt American Legion, Post 136. This month we're starting a new program on GATE, the Greenbelt Access Television, to share with you the Greenbelt American Legion's activities with the local communities. We'll look at various health and educational programs, employment incentives for veterans, and discuss fundraisers for both veterans and our community. We'll also provide updates on congressional hearings and address veteran issues. We look forward to having guests represent the American Legion, ROTC program, political leaders, educational, business, and health representatives. Our first program is scheduled in March. As you become a viewer, we look forward to your comments about the Greenbelt American Legion's activities and support programs. Until then, God bless America. Uh, this is Brian Normquist from Greenbelt Advocates for Environmental and Social Justice. I'm here to discuss the uh, Maglev project that is going to come to Greenbelt if we don't organize effectively to stop it. It has been quiet. Many of you may think this project has gone away or may just assume that it's going to stop on its own accord. It is not. It's got a lot of support. So we need to organize and we need to hear from people if we're going to stop this project. Yes, I'm Donna Almquist of Greenbelt Advocates for Environmental and Social Justice and I wanted to let people know that we have an online petition with change.org and when you get on change.org you can search the petition by uh, typing in Greenbelt Advocates and you will come to our petition and our petition will be stop the SC Maglev train and it's really important that you if you oppose the train to to get on and sign the petition Today we bring you the first part of our global broadcast exclusive conversation the Streets of Tahrir have once again been filled people are chanting against your feet Key issues here at the United Nations Climate Change Conference remain unresolved, including the future of the Kyoto Protocol. The forests of central India and the protesters in Wall Street are connected by a big pipeline. Kenneth Chamberlain, the 68-year-old veteran, fatally shot by police in his own home. He was proud to be a Marine. At every block, police are saying the protesters to move further and further away. I'm Amy Goodman. And I'm Juan Gonzalez. And those are some of the headlines. This is Democracy Now! Have any comments or questions? Please contact us at greenbeltaccess at gmail.com or give us a call at 301-507-6581. When I'm not out here fishing, I sometimes I'm watching Greenbelt Access Television. Fios, Channel 19, Comcast, Channel 77.